Bosanta Bosherico Cobras, the Catabas, the Pocos, Holy Spirit, come and direct this meeting. Holy Spirit, take over the prayer meeting in the name of Jesus. Rike Santo Jesus name pray amen yeah let me welcome all the of God to a prayer meeting tonight so this morning um let us go to the Lord's prayer hallelujah in amen. Matthew chapter 6 the Lord's Yes, from verse 9. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Mine is a kingdom, the power, and glory ever. Amen. The Lord, let us just pray in tongue concerning the Lord's prayer. Um, 
Rick, <laughs> <laughs> 
no one will let your best in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 I want us to emphasize um, um, where the, uh, the Bible says that uh, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. I want Praise us to emphasize that the, king, the, 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 the will of God be done in our lives, in our family, in our church, in the body of Christ, let the will of God be done. In this nation, let the will of God be done, and not the, 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 the will of the enemy. In the world, let the will of the Lord be done, and not the will of the enemy. Praise the Lord. Um, I want us to, eat, to accompany that, uh, that verse, or that word, um, Psalm uh, chapter 2. Praise the Lord. Because the enemy thinks is in control, is a lie. Praise the Lord. Psalm Amen. chapter 2, the book of Psalms, chapter 2. And the word of God says, why do the heavens rage, the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves 
and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bed asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. God shall have them in vision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sword displeasure. Yet if I set my king up my holy hill of Zion, I will declare that the decree the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth thy possession. Thou shalt yeah. break them with a rod of iron. Yeah. Thou shalt dash them pieces yeah. like a potter's cell. Be yeah. wise now, therefore, kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth, and rejoice with he is the son, let he be angry, and ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, the Father must be done in our personal lives, in our families, in our church, the body of Christ, in the nation, let the will of God be done. In Africa, let the will of, of God be done. Indeed, in the entire world, let the will of God be done. All those who plot evil things, let them be disappointed in the name of Jesus. Let us pray the will of God to be done. Sotoro <laughs> 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 
Rick is a 
what the Lord will do will not be counted in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us go to our anchor, the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, from verse 13. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed a light tongue, and none shall make them afraid. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jesus. The Lord has taken away thy judgment, he has cast out thy enemies, the king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thy hand be slack. The Lord thy God, the midst of thee, is mighty. He will save, he will rejoice over thee with joy, he will rest in his love, he will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are so powerful for the soul assembly, who are all thee, whom the approach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflicted thee, and I will save her that hold it, and gather her that was given up, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. At that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gathered you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth, when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God has praise the Lord. Let us just appreciate God for a wonderful word He has given us. A wonderful word. He has really blessed us with this year. 
let us just appreciate God and pray in thanks. Re candere bo santo, obo bo sete prata, we praise you, Father. We exalt you, we worship you, we bless you. Thank you, Father. We worship you, Lord. We exalt you. We appreciate you. Heavenly Father, we bless you. In the name of the Lord, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we exalt you, Father. We worship you, we thank you, Father. We are grateful. We worship you, Father. We bless you, King of Glory. We exalt you, Lord. We are grateful, King of Glory. We are grateful, we praise you we bless you up for the day. We bless you. We thank you, Father. Thank you, 
The Bible says that God has magnified his word even above of his name. Praise the Lord. And uh, this is Amen. the year we want to really take hold of God's word according to his promises. Uh, similar to our anchor, I just want us quickly to look at the book of Jeremiah chapter 31. <clears throat> we will read the chapter. There are beautiful promises um, that we need to, to pray down. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Jeremiah 31. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We let's read together. At the same time, At the same the time, Lord, time will I be the God of the, the families Will of I be the God of all the families of Israel? And they shall be my people. Thus said the Lord, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. The Lord had appeared of all down to me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love, therefore with the loving kindness have I drawn thee. Again, I will build thee, and thou shalt be built, O virgin of Israel. Thou shalt again be adorned with thy tablets, and shalt go forth in the dances of them that make merry. Thou shalt yet plant vines upon the mountains of Samaria. Planters shall plant and shall eat them as common things. For there shall be a day that the watchmen upon the mount of Ephraim shall cry, Arise ye, and let us go up to Zion unto the Lord our God. For thus hear the Lord sing ye with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations, Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, Save thy people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I bring them from the north country and gather them from the coast of the earth, and with them the blind and the lame, the woman, the child, and had the travailed with child together. A great company shall return together. They shall come with weeping and with supplications. Will I lead them? I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way, wherein they shall not stop. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear the word of the Lord, O ye nations, and declare it in Isaac, afar off, and say, He that scattered Israel will gather him and keep him as a shepherd, not his flock. For the Lord had redeemed Jacob and ransomed that, that was strong, him from him that was stronger than he. Therefore, Yes, they shall down. come they and shall sing come. in the height of Zion and to the goodness of the Lord for wheat and for wine and for oil of the young of the flock and of the herd, and their souls shall be as water garden, and they shall not sorrow anymore at all. Hallelujah. Then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance, both young men and young men together. For I will turn their mourning into joy, and I will comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow. Now satiate the soul of the priests with fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my goodness, saith the Lord. Thus, the Lord, a voice was heard in Rama, lamentation and bitter weeping, Rachel weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for the children because they were not. Thus, said the Lord, refrain thy voice from weeping, amen, and thy eyes from tears, hallelujah, for thy work shall be rewarded, saith the Lord, and they shall come again from the land 
end of the end. And we thank you, Lord. And there is hope in the end, said the Lord, that the children shall come again to their own border. I have surely heard Ephraim bemoaning himself, thus thou hast chastised me, and I was chastised as a bullock on a custom to the yoke. Thou turn thou me, and I shall be turned, for thou art the Lord my God. Surely after that I was turned, I repented, and after that I was instructed, I smote upon my thigh. I was ashamed, even confounded, because I did bear the reproach of my youth. Is he free, my dear son? Is he a pleasant child? But since I speak against him, I do earnestly remember him still. Therefore, my bowels are troubled for him. I will surely have mercy upon him, said the Lord. Set thee up, way max, make thee high hips, set thy heart toward the highway, even the way which thou wentest, turn again, O virgin of Israel, turn again to these thy cities. How long will thou go about to thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord that created the new thing in the earth, a woman shall come past a man. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, as yet they shall use this speech in the land of Judah and in the cities thereof, when I shall bring again their captivity. The Lord bless the habitation of justice and mountain of holiness. And there shall dwell in Judah itself and in all the cities thereof together husband men and they that go forth with flocks for I have satiated the weary soul and I have replenished every sorrowful soul upon this I awake and behave and my sleep was sweet unto me Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that we sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with seed of man and with the seed of peace. And it shall come to pass that, like as I have watched over them to pluck up and to break down, to throw down and to destroy and to afflict, so will I watch over them to build and to plant, said the Lord. In those days, they shall say no more. The fathers have eaten a sour grape. And the children's teeth are set on edge. But everyone shall die for his own iniquity. Every man that eateth the sour grip, his teeth shall be set on edge. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant did break, although I was an husband unto them, said the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I make with the house of Israel. After those days, said the Lord, I put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and I'll be their God and they shall be my people and they shall teach no more every man is neighbor and every man is brother say no the Lord for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them said the Lord for I will forgive their iniquity and I'll remember they are saying no more thus said the Lord which give the sun for light by day and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for light by night, which divided the sea when the waves roared there, thereof. The Lord of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from me, from before me, See the Lord, then the seed of Israel shall also cease from being a nation before me forever. Thus saith the Lord, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth such that out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the city shall be built to the Lord from the tower of Hananiel unto the gate of the corner. And the measuring line shall yet go forth over against it upon the hill garret and shall come pass about to God. And the whole valley of the dead bodies and of the ashes and of the fields unto the brook of Hedron, unto the corner of the horse gate toward the east shall be holy unto the Lord. It shall not be plucked up nor thrown down anymore forever. 
Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to pray the promises of God. We are. Yes, Lord. Um, wonderful promises Jesus. given us in the book of Jeremiah, chapter Jesus. one day. Praise the Lord. Yes, Lord. This season Jesus. of our end, season of shouting, hallelujah. In this season of our singing, God is promising us good promises. Let us just pray in thanks, hallelujah. we thank you for your everlasting love. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your loving kindness. Hallelujah. We thank you, covenant. Keep the covenant, making covenant, keeping father. My guru poko seke te 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 te. Thank you because you have built us, and we shall be built in the name of Jesus Christ. He can take our guru poko shonte. We shall again be adorned with the tabrest. We shall go forth in the dances of them that make merry. Oh, hallelujah, papa papa papa. We shall be filled. We worship you, father. We shall yet plant vines upon the mountains of Samaria. We shall plant and we shall eat them as common things. For there shall be a day indeed, Father, at the watchmen upon the mountain, Ephraim shall cry, Arise here, let us go up to Zion, unto the Lord our God. Men shall invite each other and say, Let's go up to Christ's love ministries international, according to your Cancel father, but go to Paco de 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 Paco the gladness of heart to shut among the chief of the nations to publish your grace, Father. Make it take it, 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 take
my father we pray so father I just want to look at that, verse 25, the same scripture, verse 25, hallelujah. Um, mm. It says, for I have searched the weary soul and have replenished every sorrowful soul, hallelujah. Let us pray for the brethren, mm. whoever is, uh, is weary, let us pray that God should uh, replenish them, that God should uh, satiate them, hallelujah. Because many people are in church, but then their burdens are so heavy on them. I'm going to ask mm. God to speed it up in the name of Jesus in their lives. Hallelujah. Let us just pray. Thank <laughs> you. 
We thank you for your covenant promise. 
by your covenant deliverance, your covenant comfort in Katipa today. He lost, we shall be healed, O Father. Satan, we shall be saved. He lost, heal our emotions, heal our homes, heal the marriages of your people, heal the works of your people, heal your church, Father. Heal the earth, Katipa, God, Papa. Your loving kindness, your covenant mercy. Amen. I also want us to look at uh, verse 3 and 34 together, so we can also pray. 33 and 34 together. <coughs> but this shall be a covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. And they shall Amen. teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they Amen. shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, says the Lord, Amen. for I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray Amen. for God to that as he has promised for God for everyone to know the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. That there will be no effort of teaching. Everybody will just automatically know and love the Lord. Let us pray. Ah, 
Pra 
in jesus name we pray Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us Jesus. quickly go to the book of Second uh, Corinthians, chapter ten. Second Corinthians, chapter ten. Second Corinthians, chapter ten. We will read from the three to verse five. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. Pulling down of strongholds, strongholds, casting down, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself, itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. 
The spirit is still leading me to for us to pray this prayer. Now there are there are strongholds in the minds of people. Um, well, maybe I can label them as secret yokes of the enemy. You know, this is our year of dancing, the year of singing, but yet people, you know, have these secret yokes. They don't yet understand. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. They come to church, and yet these secret yokes of discouragement. Mm. can always easily befall them. The secret jokes of being sorrowful, uh, pity party, you know, mm. you, you are just pushing them. You know, these are secret jokes in the lives of people. Hallelujah. Mm. So, and uh, this, all these, uh, you know, being uh, gossips, you know, all these little, little things that people don't realize that uh, they are strongholds, praise mm. the Lord, in their lives, now will hinder the move of God in their lives. Praise the Lord. Because as a result, they will not dance as they are required to dance. Uh, they will not sing as they are required to sing. Because every time, it's like the joy they have is just for a moment. And then they, when they go back, then they go back to this. So they are going to cut down. Because these are evil imaginations. People believe that uh, God cannot maybe do it for them. They accept it. And they think that life is just like that. And... We, we tonight are going to pray to break these uh, secret jokes in the lives of people. Hallelujah. Amen. Because Amen. the remnant shall not do iniquity. You know, some of these things, you know, they are entrenched in the lives of people. And people cannot separate themselves from these things anymore. Hallelujah. Mm. These are all evil imaginations in the lives of people. And now we're going to pray that all secret jokes of discouragement, of sorrow, of fear, of worries, they must be pulled down. They must Amen. be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Because this year we must dance, we must sing, we must shout hallelujah to our God. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, 
Ticket, <laughs> 
the book of revelation this will be the last uh, prayer i'll be leading before i hand over to bishop revelation chapter 20 from verse 11 to the end Thank you, Jesus. From verse 11. Amen. Let's read together. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was written, which is the book of life. And the dead were the church out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea and the sea gave up the and death and hell and death the dead which were up the dead in them just every and they were judged every man up to their wakes and death and, and death in the lake of fire this is the second death this is the second death whosoever was not found in the book of life was cast into, into the lake of fire child praise the lord Amen. Uh, uh, the emphasis here is on this, uh, this 14. And death and hell. We are going to pray against the spirit of death and hell. Um, I, I was shocked today when I heard the statistics of, uh, of the car accidents taking place. Or let's say if since last week. You, it's unbelievable. They are so high. So, and so we know that every time when the, 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 the timing is just on those special days, the holidays when people are traveling, mm. then you realize that the drinkers of blood and the eaters of flesh, they want to, 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 uh, to, to make use of uh, those holiday, uh, holiday time to do evil. Um, so we are going to pray against this spirit uh, because uh, we, we, we still have uh, more holidays coming. We are going to pray against this uh, spirit of death and hell that is killing people on the road, especially, praise the Lord, um, because it's doing evil. Um, I want us to also read, because we're going to use uh, Psalm 10, as we are praying against this spirit, praise the Lord. Let us also Psalm 10. We read it quickly, and then we pray in tongues against the spirit of death and hell.
Why stand as though afar off, O Lord? Why hide thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked, the wicked is bright, but I seek them poor. Let them be naked in the devices that they have imagined. But the wicked boasted of his heart's desire. And blessed the vestures whom the Lord abhorred. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of the sight. <clears throat> For all his enemies, he perfected them. He said in his heart, I shall not be moved. For I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He seated in the locked places of the villages. In the secret places does he murder the innocent. His eyes are privately set against the poor. He lies in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lies in wait to catch the poor. He does catch the poor when he draweth him onto his net. He croucheth and humbleth himself, and he may fall by his strong ones. He has said in his heart, God had forgotten. He hideth his face, he will never see it. Arise, O Lord. O God, lift up thy hand, forget not the humble. Wherefore does the wicked condemn God? He has said in his heart, Thou shalt not require it. Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite to requite it with thy hand. The poor committed himself unto thee. Thou art the help of the fatherless. Break thou the arm of the wicked, and the evil man seek out his wickedness till he find not. The Lord is king forever and ever. The hidden are perish out of his life. Lord, thou hast had a desire of the humble. Thou will prepare their heart. Thou, thou will, will cause the ear to hear, to judge the fatherless and, and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may no more Amen. Let us pray against the spirit of death and hell. In Namibia, in Africa, particularly in this nation, we spirit of death and hell. We take authority over you, strong man of death and hell. We rebuke you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rabaka, <laughs> <laughs> 
B one road, but the B two road, but the the Hallelujah, Father. 
we plead the blood of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Over to you, Bishop. Praise the Lord, Pastor. God bless you. Thank you. We we still need to take that last prayer point because if you check the news and from the time that the Lord spoke last year about death and hell, the level of death, oh, can we say the, the level of the oppression of this evil spirit, this evil stronghold, this, this evil strong man, in every nation has just escalated, gone violence, natural disasters, fires, all kinds of things are killing people, sicknesses, diseases, accidents. We're going to pray against that spirit again, that the blood of Jesus must just set the earth free, not just this one nation, but in every nation. People were demonstrating, they began to kill them. They, they, we need to pray that that spirit operating uh, uh, in this planet earth, that the hand of God Almighty should restrain it, that God should serve a restraining order to the spirit of death and hell right now. In the name of Jesus, shall we just take a moment to pray against it again before we round up the prayers. Pray, go show crap up back with the same My father, go to show crap up and take a same day. Father, stretch forth your hands against the spirit of death and hell. On the 40th, my father, my go show crap up and take a day. We are asking for a divine restraining order against death and hell, that Father, you will send the divine angels to serve the spirit in Africa, in Asia, all over the earth, in Kandide, Kuro with the divine restraining order. Ma Kuro Pogosho, Krapapa, my Father, Kandide, Kuro Pogosho, Kandipapa, Kandide, Kuro Pogosho, Krapapa, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ, we plead the blood of Jesus let the divine restraining order be sent to this evil spirit in Asia, in Europe, in the Americas, in African nations, in the churches of God. Father, rebuke this evil spirit, rebuke it in every nation, rebuke it in every family, rebuke it and let them to be sounded divine, restraining order. Marco to do, go to do, Marco to take it today, break to do, 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 break to do, 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 Marco to take it, 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 take
as look at Zechariah chapter 9. Still praying against that spirit. Zechariah chapter 9. I believe it's verse 11. Yes, let's just read it and uh, in, in, impose this covenant on that spirit. We know that this is Easter period, hallelujah. And this is the period that Jesus Amen. went on the cross of Calvary to die so that mankind will not die. We're going to impose that covenant on death and hell in the name of Jesus. As for thee also by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit wherein is no water. Hallelujah. 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 Let's look at 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15. Hallelujah. Verse 54 and 55. Is it not coming up? Fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six. Amen. 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 <coughs> Let's read together. So I mean, this we corruptible. Can we take it up to the end? Amen. Okay. Sorry, Pastor. Thank you. Up to 58, I believe. But let's just go up to the end of that scripture. No. 58. 
Yeah, 54 to 50. Let's read. So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass, saying, that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O Lord, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. And the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding the work of the Lord. First watch as ye know that your labor is not in vain. Hallelujah. Let's just play these scriptures as we speak in tongues. Father, we decree by degree of heaven that death is swallowed up in victory this year. Death is swallowed up in victory. Victory, the sting of death is sin. The strength of sin is the law. But this be to God, which given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We claim the victory of the cross of Calvary over death and hell. Bakurupu kusheke dede, meko shoko puko seke dede kati papa kati papa. We claim the victory of the cross of Calvary over death and hell this weekend. Makudi kuseke dede kuti. In every form, what is manifesting, whatever form is manifesting, in whatever nation, it is swallowed up in victory. In the victory of the cross, Oh, dead, where is your sting? Oh, grief, where is your victory? We claim the victory of the cross of Calvary over death and hell. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We take Hebrews 2. Hebrews 2 from verse 12 to 15. Makuti de katipo kuripo kusheke de pakatipa katipo kurapaka de de. My father, papa, papa, kropo kusu toko de de. Preko si kate de kropa katin de. Toro poko di kate de. Makropo kusu de de de. Preko si kropo kusu kate de. Satan, the Lord rebukes you. You spirit of death and hell, principality, death and hell, the Lord Jesus rebukes you in this season. He died to set this world free. Makuti de kete de kete de kropo kusu to. Hallelujah, amen. Say, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. And again, I put my trust in him. And again, behold, I am the children which God hath given me. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death that is the devil and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage hallelujah who oh Lord Jesus, let us pray. Your death, O oh Lord, was not in vain. You came, you came as flesh and blood. You took part in death, and you through death you died, so that through death you might destroy him that had the power of death. You have the key of death and hell. My Lord, my God, 
you died on the cross of Calvary, O Lord, and you rose again. Grave had no power over you. The grave could not keep you. On the cross of Calvary, you broke the stronghold of death and held up Father the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, you say you are the one that died and rose again. You died and rose again, and you have the keys of hell and death. Oh Lord, bring out your keys of hell and death. Bring out the keys of hell and death and lock up hell and death. Lock up this evil spirit. Lock it up in the nation. Lock it up in the church. Lock it up in our finances. Lock it up in our homes. Lock up death and hell, Father. With the key of David. Oh, Lord, you did not say that in vain. You came out of the grave. You say you have the keys of hell and death. Abba, Father, Papa, Papa, O Lord, bring out that key. O Lord, bring out that key. O Lord, bring out that key and lock up hell and death in the nations. Lock up hell and death in the continents of the ethical security. Lock up hell and death for coronavirus. Lock up hell and death for gun violence. Lock up hell and death for accidents. Lock up hell and death for diseases, divorce. Lock up hell and death. That is, that is behind the slide. Makuru Papa. Meko de 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 guru kuko shukro papa kade de 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 de. My father kudi boko de boko de boko de boko de boko de. Hey, maku de 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 de. My Lord and my God, break out those keys. Lock up hell and death in the earth. Lock up hell and death in the nations. Lock up hell and death in the in the in the shipbuilds. Makuru papa kade de de kade de. Lock up the evil spirits that are supporting it. Lock them all up. Make it Bring out those keys, bring out those keys, oh Lord, bring them out right now in this nation, bring out those keys in Africa, bring out those keys in Europe, in the Americas, in the nations of the earth, we are tired of death, we are tired of death and hell, we are tired of death and hell, you have the keys, oh Lord, bring out the keys, you have the keys, oh Lord, bring out the keys, have mercy on us, have mercy on us, have mercy on us, have mercy on us, and bring out those things to God. Take a day, 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 take a to bring out those keys of hell and death and lock up hell and death, lock up hell and death in the families, in the nations. As we celebrate your death and your resurrection in this season, oh Lord, lock up hell and death. We praise you, Father. We exalt you, Father. 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 We praise you, King of Glory. We exalt you, King of Kings. Pray. Amen. 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 Let's
Let's take Psalm 33 as we close the prayers. Abba, Father, we bless you. We praise you, Lord. Psalm 33, can we all just read together? Because I believe that this is answer to our prayers. Amen. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with harp, sing unto him with a psaltery, and an instrument of ten strings, sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise, for the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment, the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathered the waters of the sea together as and him. He layered of the depth in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spake and it was done. He commanded and he stood fast. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the hidden to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. The thoughts of his heart was the Generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. The Lord looked from heaven, he beholdeth all the sons of men. From the place of his habitation, he looked upon all the inhabitants of the earth, he fashioned their hearts alike, he considered all their works. There is no king saved by the multitude of an host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. A horse is a vain thing for safety, neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him. Upon them, upon them that hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine are so waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield for our hearts shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. Amen. I just want us to take two or three minutes just to thank the Lord and praise him for answered prayers. Hallelujah. According to this scripture, Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. We thank you because you always hear us. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Father. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you for the deliverances. Thank you for the souls you save, oh Lord. Thank you for hearing all our prayers this morning. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are the Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all, all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. 
We seal all our prayers with the blood of Jesus. Amen. We seal all the answers with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. We seal all our lives, all our homes, all our churches, all our children. In the blood of Jesus Christ, we seal all our brethren in the blood of Jesus at this time. Amen. We thank you, Father, because you have heard us. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against us shall ever prosper because of these prayers that you pray. We thank you for your divine protection. In Jesus' mighty name, we return all the glory to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord. In the house of the Lord. Forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. And now, in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. And forevermore. Amen. Amen. Pastors, may God bless you all. Amen. Amen. Praise God.